Ryan Doyle in for Pat Ballin this morning, and what a morning it is. The NDP, they walk out of the legislature in Queen's Park, the province of Ontario, and a big deal for First Nations and the Ontario government. Or is it? That's next on Straight Talk. mentioned in for Pat Ballin this morning and man do we have a show for you today. We'll also talk with Paul McKeever from the Freedom Party of Ontario about the NDP walking out of the legislature, a chaotic day at Queen's Park in Ontario. That's all still to come here on Straight Talk, Sun News Network. Man, it's been an interesting day already in Ontario politics. You've got one party walking out of the legislature, the other party in power threatening to sue the leader of the opposition. We'll break it all down for you next here on Straight Talk, Sun News Network. So it defies credibility that she could have been leader of the Liberal Party and Premier and said, that she had no idea what was going on. And now she wants to spend time and taxpayer money coming after me and my team with a lawsuit instead of focusing on issues like creating jobs in our province. That's Ontario's progressive conservative leader, Tim Hudak, responding to Kathleen Wynne, an open letter that the Premier sent out this past weekend, saying that if he didn't take his comments back from last week, well, she would threaten to sue. These comments all come and stem from a conversation and allegations the OPP has been having about Dalton McGuinty, the former Premier, his former Chief of Staff, uh, and his involvement in a, a, I guess you could call it an effort to move 24 computers and the contents of 24 computers away from the public's eyes, erase them completely. This has been going on for quite some time. Paul McKeever is here. It is a wild morning to even keep track of all of this stuff. You've got the NDP. Yeah. They leave the legislature this morning. They walk out because the Premier is not there. You've got threats of lawsuits, a wild rodeo down in Queen's Park. Right. Lots of drama. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, Kathleen Wynne's missing in action for obvious reasons. Andrea Horvath is putting on a big show so that if later on she decides to support the budget, she can at least be uh, a person who said, well, I showed some outrage at the time that Kathleen Wynne wasn't accountable and I think she needs to be more accountable. But I don't see this necessarily as an indicator that uh, <clears throat> Horvath is going to turn her, turn her back on Wynne just yet. I think it's going to be a question of whether the polls show a bump for the NDP as a result of this. I think that the support for the Liberals is primarily going to switch to the NDP if they were a switch, mm -hmm. but I don't see that happening just yet. There's a lot of fat cats uh, on the Liberal, uh, uh, you know, payroll, as, as it were. I don't mean directly, but through the government, through the various other interests that want the Liberals to continue to be in control of who's negotiating the contracts, the renewals, and etc. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. It's interesting you mentioned the polls because I think that's going to be the, you know, the proof in the pudding here for Andrea Horvath, and will ultimately be the decision maker for her. Right. I could tell you two weeks ago, we're hosting an open line talk radio show. People still largely supported the Liberals in all of this, even with the billion dollar uh, gas power plant scandal. I don't know why they would, however, they, they've seemingly chosen to cozy up to them. When you mention the letters OPP and you talk about the allegations yeah. from last week about computers, 24 computers being wiped clean, about outside people having access who weren't supposed to, who didn't have security clearance, all of this happening in the Premier's office, this is a big deal to people and that support has started to change. Yeah, when they start to smell smoke, they, there might be fire. I think a lot will depend upon how the opposition parties play this. If Andrea Horvath, Horvath seems like the, the lawyerly voice of, well, let the courts handle this, we can't jump the gun, and maybe Tim Hudak's being a bit right that could backfire on Hudak. It all depends on Horvath, how Horvath plays us. I think that'll depend on how the polls go. Uh, if the polls show that she has a possible bump coming up, you might actually find her going on the attack just like Hudak and also uh, positioning herself to perhaps uh, pull the plug on the budget. Well, we mentioned polls. We've got one of our own going on. Gina Phillips, let me bring you into this conversation. You're mm -hmm. monitoring uh, what is being said and what the, the poll is today. Uh, how are people reacting? Yeah, we're talking about when threatening to sue Tim Hudak if he didn't back off his allegations and his statements that he made about the gas plant scandal. Well, uh, we're asking, will Wynn follow through if Hudak doesn't retract 
doesn't look like he's going to. So, well, it, was she bluffing or will she in fact try to sue him? Well, take a look at our results. 87% of people so far today say, nah, she's bluffing. 13% uh, say, yes, she'll proceed with a lawsuit. Over 600 people have now voted, but there's still time. We have this poll open all day long. You can head to sunnewsnetwork.ca. This is also the top story on our sure. website right now. We have all the details there if you want to get yourself caught up, because I have a feeling we're in we're in for, 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 for the long road right now, and it's going to be a roller coaster, because that question period uh, blew a lot of people's minds. Just yeah, I, you know what? I don't <laughs> remember a more explosive time in yeah. the Ontario legislature where you've got a party, full party, walking out and holding an impromptu scrum. I, I don't know if you remember any no. time well, like this before. I, you'll find drama like this whenever someone doesn't want to uh, put, any, put forth any real goods. It's all show, no go. It's interesting. Two things you've raised. Uh, first of all, when she won't uh, pull the, uh, you know, actually sue Hudak in my view, that would only open her up to further scrutiny. Instantly, her phone records, her, her, her uh, everything she's ever bought or sold, anyone she's ever spoken with over the last year or three would become uh, possible objects for examination for discovery. Every time they pull out some new evidence under discovery, they could bring a motion, make sure that the mm -hmm. press sees it, make a big fiasco out of every little nook and cranny. Do you think Tim Hudak knew that and that's why he's doubling down today? I think, when I heard the broadcast on your radio program uh, last week when he made the statement, mm -hmm. I thought right away that he'd gone over the line. I thought that was either uh, incredibly um, loose or it was planned, I think it might be planned. But think of it this way, if, if Wynne doesn't uh, actually sue, he gets to continue accusing her of criminal activity wrongly or, or rightly as it may be. And uh, if she does sue, he gets to play around with her in the, in the courts and get the media all involved. One of the key questions here, Lisa McLeod, she got the information on her BlackBerry. She's a member of provincial parliament in Ontario about these computers, the allegations about them being wiped clean. She put the question right to Kathleen Wynne. She wasn't even gonna ask a question until she got that information in her hands about whether or not it was her computer, whether her computer had been wiped clean. I think that's where the focus is going to switch. Well, we'll see. But you know, you, you mentioned these past scandals. Why does nothing, nothing ever uh, uh, take, take uh, effect here? We, we're looking at the gas plant scandal. The reason is that the public have already been run over by that train. The public are always looking for the next train. And a, and a wise opposition will be looking at not what happened in the past, but the Pan Am blast of money that's going to be coming only 10 months from now, 11 months from now, when they start realizing they don't have enough money for that, in et cetera. The, in the words of an old tune, stop this train, I want to get off. Paul, I appreciate it. When Thank we you. come back, your hard news headlines are straight ahead. We're also going to take a look at a milestone when it comes to Canadian health care. That's all straight ahead here on Sun News Network.